Today on The Daily Charge, Spotify knows where you live, Nintendo Switch's new fitness accessories, and holy guacamole, the Google Pixel 4 has leaked again. Good morning and welcome to CNET's Daily Charge. It's Thursday, September 12th. I'm Aya Zaktar. I'm Alfred Eng. And here are today's stories. You're not going to believe this, guys. The Google Pixel 4 has apparently leaked again. I'm not talking about photos that look like they were taken on a potato. One video is in HD, the other is in 4K. We get full looks at the white one, the black one, and the coral version of the 4XL. The colors are limited to, limited to the back panel. The edges and front are black. That square camera bump is black on all three, so you're going to see it. At the end of one video, we get to see full info on the camera hardware and camera samples. Night sight seems to be better on the 4XL. The 4K video showed off the phones and we get specs. Inside is a Snapdragon 855 processor with six gigs of RAM. Alfred, do you think these videos are the real deal or is this one giant elaborate hoax? I mean, if it's the latter, this gives a lot more attention to the Pixel 4 than I've ever cared about. Mm -hmm. um, rather than, I, I would hope that some company is smart enough out there to do like some kind of guerrilla marketing campaign as opposed to come to our event, everybody, where everyone will be carefully tailored. And I, this is a much better approach. More companies should take note of this and just have it leak out every time. I would love to see a reveal video at the Pixel 4 reveal where they actually like remove the backdrop mm -hmm. for all these leaked videos. Like they're at the Google offices just kind of goofing around because that would be kind of a new way to yeah. get attention because these leaks are piling up. We used to see just really bad photos and you know far away videos, but these things are full on almost tours of the devices. Um, yeah, and it's getting a lot more attention than like if the actual event like happened. I, I for one welcome this uh, new version of hype training. This is what you want to yes, happen? Yes, just do that. Don't make people fly across the country and come to your like dumb events and then have bloggers clap there for no reason. Well, the event is rumored to be October 15th, so we got a month it's and like, three days left. Why do you have rumors of that? Just, just do what Nintendo Direct does with like the, the videos, just everything. Nintendo doesn't do that for their events. They don't even, they barely show up to E3. That's def definitely a different approach. Maybe we'll find out this is all Google's doing. Next up, Spotify is now asking for location data from its users. You know, that seems kind of strange for a music app. Alfred, you wrote up the story. What can you tell us? Yeah, so Spotify uh, started on September 5th basically asking for location data if you're on a family plan. So that's uh, the family plan is $15 for six people, mm -hmm. and they want to do that to avoid abuse because they think that family should all— if you, ha you have to be under one roof for the family plan. But For Spotify? Yeah, but any six people can just say, hey, we're family. Or if you go to college and you're part of a family, yeah, you can't, they, or you yeah. go away. Spotify said you can use our, fa our, our student plan for that. So they, they want it specifically for people in the same house. Well, I, I asked about, you know, because, like, obviously not all families, like, live together all the time. Um, but they they are worried about people who, you know, pretend to be families and say, like, hey, yeah, we're a family. I only pay, like, 250 for uh, Spotify instead of what it's like ten dollars a month uh, instead if if you're paying for like normal premium so they're worried about abuse like that the problem with privacy uh, concerns is Spotify and its fine print says they'll be checking from time to time mm -hmm. and not exactly saying when they're going to be checking for your location data which uh, has some people uh, riled up about you know why do you really need my location like more than once or anything like that so what if you accept the location data thing in the beginning and then you turn off the location settings for that mm -hmm. app will it will spotify stop working at some point it's unclear so they in the terms of services they said they cancel it if they um you know suspect any kind of fraud or abuse but it it doesn't really mention like how often they're going to be policing it or anything like that. Sounds strange. You've got to define a family under a roof. You know, I think I've read Supreme Court cases about this. It's a whole other mess. That's Thanks, Spotify. <laughs> and finally, Nintendo announced new accessories for the Nintendo Switch. One is called the Ring Con. The other is called Leg Strap. You attach Joy-Cons to both, then you strap on the leg strap and hold the Ring Con. This is how you will control the new Ring Fit adventure game. To move in the game, you jog in place. Other functions use the Ring Con. The accessories will be sold with the game as a bundle, and it's coming in October. Alfred, why does Nintendo always want people to get up off the couch? I think because Nintendo um, wants to be the new, like, Taibo. You know, they want to be Billy. The new Taibo. Wow, yeah, so like, retro. I was just watching that video, and look at that. Like, I'm, I'm expecting, you know, workout DVDs. Uh, mm -hmm. training uh, videos they're gonna just raise a whole army of buff kids like based off Nintendo Switch um, either that or they are 
super into getting kinky. Like you've seen like the, the leg strap. I mean, come on guys. Yeah. So when it comes to Nintendo getting into buff children, as you put it, they've tried this with the Wii mm -hmm. and we had a, an army of super children that happened. Yep. And then the Wii U that tanked. So they, like, there's like six superhumans. Yes. They there. could have had it if people actually bought the Wii U. <laughs> It seems strange that Nintendo hasn't tried to do this kind of motion control thing back on the Switch yet mm -hmm. because it was really popular on the Wii. It was good on the Wii U, even mm -hmm. though that was not a very uh, well-selling console. Do you think this is going to be the start of more of these motion-based games back on the Switch? Well, they did. I mean, the, one of the first games was 1-2 Switch, where like a lot of it was motion control. Mm -hmm. They had that like um, like Wild West shooting game and the uh, cow milking one. Um, fitness games, not so much, but... Uh, I, I think that would, it'll be more of like a one and done with this one. I don't think it'll be like Labo where they're like releasing like multiple versions of it every now and then, which is another, uh, way that they've been trying to use like motion sensor stuff. Uh, the ring thing, it seems kind of weird. I, I kind of want to know how much it costs before, like if, if it's pretty cheap, I can imagine it taking off in a way, but the way it is now, I don't really know. Yeah. I'm just, I'm looking at these things, these devices. It just seems like. All right, uh, can I use this with a Switch Lite? Probably not, unless I get another set of Joy-Cons. Mm -hmm. Also, who's going to try a fitness game on a 5-inch Yeah, display? also, just give us another Wii Boxing. Like, that's what all, like, everyone... I want, that, I want Wii, Wii Sports Resort back. Yeah. That's what I want. Make it happen. So now, as always, we turn to our live audience to see which of today's stories you want to learn more about during our Q&A portion. Let's see what you all have to say in the chat. What's going on, Brian? Ben... So long since someone has called me Brian, I forgot that that was my name. That is your name. It is. With an I. Oh, oh. damn it, Alfred. Get out. Get out. I'm contractually ob obligated to be in this seat until the show ends. He's right. It's not with the... Not what I pay you for. Okay. <laughs> uh, Yan says, Alphabet City guy talking about Pixel 4. You have a real fan base out That's there. That's true. I, I did talk about Pixel 4 because I knew about the story ahead of time. So I was going to write it up and try to use it twice, but somebody noticed it. Well, you can talk about the Pixel 4 all you want while the rest of the world is talking about the iPhone 11. I got to go meet with the developer last night, and he snuck me the leaked iPhone 12 conceptual design. Let's see. Check it. this out. How cool is that? Wow. I mean, it takes amazing augmented reality photos, mm -hmm. and you can do just about anything. You can turn your head into a poop emoji. It's really, it's like the peak of technology, if you ask me. Like, we, we don't need phone. anything else. In the meantime, uh... Chris says, Spotify has already been tracking in the UK as well. Uh, keep us posted. I know we got so many great folks all over the different corners of the globe. Uh, let us know what the experience has been, uh, if it's positive or negative. Probably negative with the account sharing and them kind of like bringing the hammer down. Yeah, so it started globally um, on August 19th, but it rolled out differently based on where the like where they're rolling out the family plans and market. So in the U.S. it was September 15th in Ireland and the U.K., it was um, on August 19th, and it, it kind of depends on like when the family plan is like kicking off like in your country. So you're saying you can outrun it. Yeah. I, so if you uh, keep island hopping or nation hopping, yeah. you'd be able to avoid Spotify uh, Until a certain, certain period, yeah. But yeah. then, I mean, you could also avoid it by not being on a family plan. But as I understand, a lot of people are. I think traveling around the world is a way better idea than just is, not using the Spotify family plan. Yeah, or just use, you know, another music streaming service. Next up. Hang on. Sorry, I got distracted trying to actually fish out some more comments. Uh... Uh, Timothy asks, I wonder what the metadata on those uh, Pixel 4 video leaks are. That's Vietnam, right? Yeah, so the languages, the languages spoken in the videos are Vietnamese, or at least the descriptions are written in Vietnamese. Uh, the Pixel 4 production has moved to Vietnam, so this makes a lot of sense. Uh, apparently, these close to sold um, units have, are being sold right now. So oh them. boy, yeah. So they should just have their event in Vietnam also. Just stop having these events in the US. Send journalists to other countries, guys. Um they should just have it like one really tiny electronic shop where yeah. they have like three of them. Like, <laughs> oh yeah, come on in. Everyone gathers up and sees the Pixel 4. Look, if you if you guys want to send me to Vietnam to pick up one of these phones, perfectly happy to do it. Okay. So Brian, you're paying for that, right? Yeah, of course. Oh, yeah, good. no problem. The daily charge budget is massive. It's true. As you can tell from our custom mugs. Uh, Ryan says, I agree with that. Alfred, no need for a big event after all these leaks. It would save everybody time. But Yan asks, given that we have seen so many leaks on the Pixel 4, are there any features left to reveal? 
yeah, the software side is one of the big ones. There was a promo video that leaked, and that, this is great though. It's a promo video that looks like it's from Google, but it's been like screen recorded with a. Didn't recorded. Google like release their own promo video they also? Did, though they yeah. did have a promo video for their face unlock and their gesture support, which is called Motion Sense. But another video leaked, which was a promo video, and it shows that it this Pixel Four is supposed to be able to take really great night sky photos so they call it like astrophotography mm-hmm. so like if you ever take a photo of the night sky it's like garbage but pixels are supposed to be able to do this much better so that's one of the software functions there's a, a discussion of potentially hold my phone is another concept so it's like a hold my beer thing I, <laughs> I wish it was but here's here's how this works if you get on a phone call and you're put on hold mm-hmm. apparently you're able to hand off the call to assistant and it hangs out and waits for for the person to come back. Mm-hmm. When the person comes back, assistant tells you. So you don't have to be like, you know, just waiting there and listening uh, to schmaltzy music. You can actually go right back into doing whatever you were doing. So there might be software functions that are pixel specific that we'll see at the reveal. Hardware wise, no, all that stuff is out. Yeah, I mean, and that's always been Google's kind of ace in the hole mm-hmm. here, right? Like even with the Pixel 3, I remember there were a ton of leaks on the Pixel 3 right, too, exactly. but there were actual surprises with the software. So. Yeah. Like the uh, there was like a, another calling function there. Yeah, the the transcription what's it? and like yeah, and then um, what was it the the AI that like makes calls for you? And like I can't remember the name of it right now. It's in my head. It'll come back to me. Yeah, it's a fun, duplex. Duplex. There you go. Storm King uh, says uh, everything else is leaked on the Pixel. What about the uh, price? I don't have that. No, nope. uh, we have the <laughs> Vietnam price. If that helps, I don't know. if We actually do. I'm sure it's around. I just haven't seen. I haven't. Uh, I haven't come across it just yet. Uh, do you think Google it will copy Apple with uh, magazine and book membership subscriptions? I mean, they already copied them with like the the night mode like photos and the AI to like edit pictures. Apple invented night mode. Right, they night invented mode. that, and they also Apple invented cameras on phones. Yeah. So they copied that to. Um, let's see. Uh, there's Apple Arcade. There's Google Play Pass, which is not out yet. Yeah. That's uh, that actually is similar. Uh, otherwise but yeah they have like the play newsstand but you don't really pay for like one for everything I, for that the new services just seem like yeah ridiculous yeah i mean google has other like media distribution networks like they so they don't need to pay exactly like have you pay for content because they make a ton of money off advertising to begin with mm-hmm. whereas with apple they don't really rely on advertising that much so they came out with like apple magazine or apple newsstand in the sense that you pay a subscription fee for that Google rakes in a ton of money off of media, like just based off advertising alone, um, as our YouTube viewers are fully aware of. <laughs> Next up, will there be a Pixel Watch? We've heard that one before. This year? No. What do you think? Um, I, it seems like Google's pretty much just given up on Android Wear, or what is it now? Watch. Wear OS. Wear OS, yeah. That's so annoying because like Apple has Watch OS and I'm like I'm always mixing up the two now. I don't see why that's why would that that would ever happen considering there's no actually like notable Wear OS yeah. devices whatsoever. Mm-hmm. So and it's unfortunate because I I was always hoping for watches like smart watches to eventually replace phones because I'm kind of annoyed at how like massive they've gotten. Like if you want like a smaller phone, have something on your wrist mm-hmm. and just have like Bluetooth headphones to talk or something like that and. They, they kind of hinted that that's where they were going at, like when smartwatches were coming out, and all of a sudden it's just like really only Apple in the game on this, uh, which is, again, very disappointing. The Samsung's got its own set of smartwatches, and they don't run Wear OS at all. Mm-hmm. They're considered pretty good, but then you're kind of stuck there. Yeah. Same thing with Apple. If you want an Apple Watch, you need to have an iOS device to go with it. Otherwise, you can't use it with an Android device, which is strange since you could just pay Apple money. Yeah. Uh, here's some money for an actual watch that looks good. Very looks frustrating. Well. So with the Pixel 4, there's no fingerprint scanner, right? Just face unlock? Yeah, so from the leaks, it looks like there's no... The, the face unlock is the only biometric, if I if I read those right. Now, that could be different. There could be an in-screen fingerprint sensor that seems like that would make a lot of sense why it would, it would be there as a fallback, and a passcode is another fallback. But from what I've seen, it looks like... This is through poor translations. It looks like that the Pixel might drop the fingerprint sensor as a biometric entirely. Unfortunate. I really like that, but um, also because it's... Well, no, you, you're not protected from the Fifth Amendment with fingerprint sensors, unfortunately. Right, so just use a passcode yeah. for your safety. 
Unrelated to Pixel, but what are your thoughts on Disney Plus launching early in the Netherlands and the fact that it's free until November 12th? Oh, we should have jo- Joan come back should for this move one. move to the Netherlands. See, also, because their healthcare is better. And, and free Disney Plus? I mean, what? Yeah. What, it, maybe it's a, just a giant tourist trap right now because I'm, of that. I, mean, I think it's a good test. There's a lot of reasons to move to the Netherlands. The They're the Netherlands. <laughs> a lot of reasons to move there. Oh, a lot of reasons. I thought I said the lotto reasons. I'm like, what's no. the lotto reasons to move there? Is it like really easy to no, win the lotto there? But uh, their citizens are much happier than U.S. citizens. And, because of Disney Plus. Yeah. Disney Plus only. And uh, bike lanes there are much better than in America. And their education system is also better. Also, they treat their prisoners better than U.S. Our country sucks, guys. <laughs> <laughs> so the point, though, for, to answer your actual question, I think is a smart move for Disney to test out their services in a in a kind of controlled environment. Should there be issues, perhaps they will find out in a nice way instead of millions of Americans being super angry because we're all angry all the time. Yeah. Back to Google. Will the Pixel 4 get a Daydream update? No. Yeah, it seems like they kind of gave up on that. They too. didn't even put it in the Pixel Three A. The weird, this is like the weird thing with between like Apple and Google phones, where Google just throws everything at the wall and see what sticks, and Apple like just waits until like something sticks. Like, oh, we'll take that. Right. <laughs> um, like, but oh, yeah, yeah, they gave up on the Daydream. Also, like the Pixel Book, unfortunately, also flopped. It's just, come on, guys. <laughs> yeah, when it comes to Daydream, it seems like the. F- the future is moving just towards these fully self-contained units because it is still frustrating to take your phone and not have the usage of your phone once you take off your VR headset and you got to take the phone out. It's, I know that sounds like a silly inconvenience, but I think that actually is driving enough of the issues there. Mm-hmm. Plus, the prices of standalone VR headsets has gone down drastically. Yeah. And I remember using the Daydream when the first Pixel came out. Kind of whack. I was not a fan of it. Yeah, because it also can't track as much. Yeah, like you can't. You, you had only a, a certain degrees of movement, like mm-hmm. your head, your head movements. But if you got up and moved forward, nothing would change, and you would hit a wall, like I did. Very cool. Front page tech is predicting a comeback of Hangouts. What are your thoughts? No. Yeah, aren't they like killing that off soon? Yes. Which is very disappointing because I actually use Hangouts like daily to. Same. Um, Talk with my partner. Is a- it's, it's just going to change names, whatever their service is. Because before this, we were use, all using Gtalk, or whatever it was called. Gchat. 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 And they had uh, Jabber as their client in the yeah. middle there. And now it's Hangouts, and they're going to switch that up for something else. As long as it's whatever that they're using ends up like in Gmail, I'm sure people will be like, yeah, whatever this thing is. The chat thing on the left works. Yep. Give me that Allo. Give me uh, that Duo. Duo. Um, just their own messaging app also. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they don't know what they're like, they don't know which one they like. I wish they could all just work together. Yeah, just that'd call be cool. It Google chat, Google connections. Hang, like you could hang out. Oh, if you could hang out with people, yeah, that's a good name yeah. for something. You know what I was thinking about on my way into work today? Google Buzz. Oh, their Twitter clone? Yeah, anybody remember that? I remember Google Wave. That was a fun yeah. one. That was like Slack Google before Wave. Slack. It was this weird collaborative writing tool, which kind of made its way into Google Docs. That's, you're right, Google's just like, yeah, here we go. Yeah, we got everything. Oh, wait, nope. Some uh, of this makes sense. Do you think Google will drop a secret Pixel 4 Ultra to counter no, the iPhone no, 11 Pro Max? No, because the same thing happened last year. <laughs> because we, Google can't keep a secret. If there was something that they were trying to keep secret, it would have leaked by now. They just work on some other one. <laughs> They're like, and we have the Pixel 10. I'm like, whoa, okay, okay, okay. Now this I want to see. But yes. Nah, I, Those were every every leak was just a distraction that they put out for for their actual secret phone. That's what we were all hoping last year when we saw that notch, and was like, this has got to be maybe like a pre-production, mm-hmm. really bad idea, and they're just testing out software, and they're gonna figure out a really elegant way, and the Ultra is gonna be here. It's gonna be like, it's gonna have this amazing in-screen camera technology or pop-up cameras. It didn't happen. I just want a small phone with like good hardware, man. Like, like Stephen Curry had that like Palm phone or whatever that was a perfect size, but it was like, hey, uh, you can only take like photos that look like they were taken from a toaster on this. I, I don't know why they just, they didn't make that a watch. Dakota, just turn it sideways. Yeah, because they they're trying to make like smaller phones where it's like you're not as distracted on it or anything like that. But like, just give me a small phone that I can still be distracted on. Like, perfectly you want, like, fine. A- like a device that works and is small? Yes. <laughs> what an idea. Google, just do that. Or app anyone. <laughs> you want the iPhone SE 2? No, I want the, yes, I do want that. Because, like, I haven't really upgraded, like, 
uh, I didn't upgrade my 5S for a while. The only reason why I did is because the screen cracked. But, like, that was the perfect size for me. I want something, like, the size of, like, the original, uh, not the original, but, like, the iPod Nano that was, like, the clip-sized. For Oh, yeah, okay. That yeah. Worked. So that's the watch, then. Yes, but I can't make calls on the watch. Yes, you can. LTE, well, you can. don't you need to have the watch and a phone with you or no, something? No, they're making it more standalone. So you could probably, you first you need to you always need an iOS device to, like, activate the thing, yeah. I think. And then the device can almost work on its own. But don't you need a separate SIM for that? Yes. Yeah, that's... I don't want to do that. So then you go like prepaid on the iOS device or just get an iPod touch to activate it. I thought about Can that, that actually. I actually thought about doing that. Maybe that should be a guide that'll show up on the how to do everything on yep. the, uh, that CNET other channel where they talk about how to do everything. Like oh, how yeah. can you get an, an Apple watch to work without having an iPhone that's active? Yeah. The bad, the bad CNET channel, the daily charge is a superior channel. Everybody that's subscribe true. to this. We are uh, charged and ready. Clearly. Uh, we got a few minutes left. Let's take a couple of rapid fire questions. Any updates coming for Duplex? Uh, I know the Duplex is rolling out to a bunch of users. I have not gotten to use it myself. Um, I have to sound natural, so I have to say um and gotta instead of got to because that's what Duplex sounds like. like um, Alfred, could you um, make an appointment for me? I just speak with my Duplex because it's the only person that will still talk to me um, <laughs> outside of work. So. <laughs> That's good. That's really good. I like this comment from Caleb. He says, I just want a phone with a full screen and no front-facing camera. Has that ever existed, and do we think there's any room for that in today's like modern landscape? I, I would love that because I don't take sure. selfies or slow fees. Or there's a Samsung or... device that has a camera on the back, and it's the one that flips over. So you just never flip it over. Ah. So you could do that. There's another one that has actually like a really crappy hinge that pops up this way. Uh, so I've you could that, do yeah. it. <laughs> it looks so janky. I don't know who it's from. You're talking about the one that like pops up like a little tic tac or something like that, or it's not the not not the oppos that go. Okay, uh, yeah, that's what it, it's like, one that actually like you have to move it. It looks like an old what the <laughs> plastic Transformers toy from 1986. Oh boy, like a periscope. It, it, no, it, it's it's dumber than that. <laughs> that's what I'm telling you. It's dumber than that. I'm gonna find it. You'll all see it, and you'll be like. This is dumb. Yeah, I don't think you'll ever see a new phone without a front-facing camera, though. Like, I, I, I think... Not in the selfie world. Yeah. Well, you're also... We've seen prototypes of, at least online, of under-screen cameras. So you, you don't even see yeah. the camera. And it's if you look really close, you can kind of see some graininess around mm -hmm. that area because there has to be some transparency for the camera to work at all. I think we're going to get that first. Yeah. Honestly, if anything, you're, you'll probably get like two or three cameras on the front before you get zero cameras. <laughs> That's sadly likely. Still, his point remains. All screen, no notch, no pinhole. It would be kind of nice. I'd be down for that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What do we got else? Uh, oh, Pixel Buds Series 2. What's the word on that? Absolutely no word on that uh, because I don't think anybody liked Pixel Buds 1. They were awful as far as I know. Sound quality was bad. It didn't stay in your ears, and it was expensive. So perfect combination for what are you doing? Also, they pitched that like really cool like Babblefish kind of feature where it translated in real time, yeah. and then it just didn't work, and I was really mad about that. It was essentially just talking to your phone to figure yeah. out what was going on back and forth. So you could have just taken your phone out and just gone like, okay, so I'm going to talk into here, back and forth. So, yeah, they, they definitely promoted it as if it's a universal translator. It's like, no, it's not. Yeah, it would have been pretty cool if it were. And then it just wasn't. So, so no word on Pixel Buds at all on this in this case because they weren't exactly a smash hit. Probably c kill that one too. <laughs> <laughs> it's hanging out with a Pixel Slate. <laughs> I got nowhere to you go. Do, you should do a whole episode on just like things killed off by Google. <laughs> I just want, there is a site called I think it's called Google Graveyard, and it oh, has God. a running list of all the things being killed or will be killed off slowly, and we're all still waiting for the death of Google Play Music as YouTube Music continues to get updates and features that all other music apps have had from the very beginning. All right, so Ayaz, uh, before we let everybody go, Pixel 4, what features are you excited about? Project Soli, the, the, that's the motion sense radar control thing. I'm really curious about how that's going to work in real life. And if it does, even if it doesn't take off on the phone, I'm really curious if when it's going, going to end up in Google Home or Nest products where you don't have to like hold down a button to get Google to, you know, to listen to you. So if, I don't always like to go yelling, hey, Google, right? So mm -hmm. when you're close by, maybe you can wave to get it to do whatever you want to do. Uh, that to me is the most interesting. The photography AI has always been interesting to me with Google because 
They're like, you know what? Screw it. We only had one camera on all the phones here. Our pictures are the best. Now they have multiple cameras. I want to see what they can do with that. Yeah, the, the AI has always made their photos like really stand out. Mm -hmm. And I think that was a good testament to, you know, we don't need like crazy hardware for this. We can exactly. just do this with our software. I'm a little disappointed that that software, like Google has not opened that up to other phones. If that camera app was available for like $6 or $4.99 yeah. on, on like every other phone, people would buy it. Yeah, I know. And it's disappointing because like I have like pretty good hardware on my Galaxy phone. Also takes pretty decent photos, but I think about it using like the AI that Google uses for their Pixel phones. It'd be, I feel like it'd be way better. I want to say that the Pixel actually has extra hardware, like a visual core or something. Oh the yeah, Pixel 3. like a chipset. Yeah, so yeah. I'm not sure if that, I believe it wasn't active at first with mm -hmm. the sale of Pixel 3, but it was activated in the middle of its run. Yeah. So that means it was capable of taking great photos since Pixel 1, yeah. honestly. So I don't know what else this visual cord does mm -hmm. to enhance the photos or figuring out which photo was the best of the bunch you just took. Yeah. But as far as the question goes, I, uh, I'm i pretty excited to see people uh, getting really annoyed at all the motion control stuff because it's like, that's going to mess up. That's going to mess up on day one. I'm looking forward to it messing up during the presentation. I was like, all right, next photo. All right, well, that one's not working, but... Uh, <laughs> My curiosity is how do you stop other people from just fudging with your phone? Then this, they can just yeah. keep doing this or like, I mean, I guess it's true of if your phone is down, people are tapping it. That mm -hmm. is also annoying. So that's just a person problem. But is it going to misread like a fly going by? Yeah. Is it going to misread anything? I'm not really sure. I'm excited works. for all the screw ups. <laughs> that's I, as I promise you, I will mess with your phone. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. Alfred, is Spotify actually profitable? Because between looking for account abuse and suing Apple, I'm starting to wonder. And by the way, that comes from Brian with an I. Oh, so you. Okay. Um, that's actually not a good question for me because I don't know about Spotify's business plans. I'm just here to uh, find out about people's privacy concerns. Mm -hmm. So um, I will actually ask Joan that, but I do not know about uh, Spotify and money. I actually do not know if I am profitable either. So I might be bankrupt. Probably. And before we call it a day, let's harken back to a simpler time, the Nintendo Power Pad. Anybody remember the Nintendo Power Pad? Was Is that the where... one where you had to like stomp on it or whatever to run in that like track game? Yes. Yep. It was just like B and A though, right? So uh, basically yeah. you're stepping on the B and A buttons. Is that correct? Yep. So let's let's think about this for a second. We got the Nintendo Switch coming out with this new ring and leg strap accessory. Nintendo has a very lush history of uh, varying accessories over the time over time uh, from the zapper uh, to the power pad. And don't forget Rob. And Rob the Robot, you're right, the original uh, packaging or uh, package-in toy that made it not a video game console after the big crash. Uh, what other accessories do you think the Switch is going to be working on? Now, we've seen cardboard, we've seen VR. Uh, do they think they're going to go down the route that the Wii did, where it was just a plethora of plastic crap? Or are they actually going to institute something a little more functional. I so want this to be like the way the Game Boy was, where you get this giant you know, magnifying glass on oh, top God, of the Switch lights. I still have that. <laughs> and it had like really crappy lights on mm -hmm. it too. Remember the was, printer? That was on the Game Boy, right? Yeah. And Game it had Boy like, there was camera. also that really weird camera you could attach to it with the eye. Yeah. And there was also like a PDA version of <laughs> on the Game Boy. God. I wanted to go full on Game Boy for Switch Lite mm -hmm. and make sure that you can do everything but dock it to a TV. Mm -hmm. That's all I want out of the Switch Lite. That it's just ridiculous at the end. You have to like carry it in like a headset and like a it's perfect. Yeah, I wish they had more accessories that made it more tablet like. I mean, it's kind of annoying that like Hulu is on it and YouTube is on it, but you still can't watch like Netflix on it. Um, They've gone to great lengths to basically like this is not a tablet. This is a, a video game console. Well, like running I would, a Tegra One processor, yeah. which happens to be in the Shield TV, yeah. which means it could possibly do it. Yeah, and I was like, I would love to use my Switch as a tablet. Um, it's also like a great size for that, and the battery life is awesome, and it uses like USB C. Unfortunately, it, you can't use Bluetooth uh, headphones with it. How did that happen? I have no idea. I I don't know what happened, but it has a headphone jack, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I would love to use that as a tablet. Um, I don't think that's in their plans because they went like really out of their way to say like, this is not a tablet. They maybe don't. they can do, so maybe it's not a tablet. Maybe you can strap it to your face, mm -hmm. the switch, right? And you put it on a full body suit and you can run with it and do things like you would in the real world. Oh, yes. That, that I think HTC that's what the, Vive. I think that's what the ring con thing is supposed to be for. The ring con is just the beginning. Oh boy. More straps. 
We all forgot the most important accessory that Nintendo has ever created. And to be fair, Nintendo did not build this. It was from a third party. Uh, but... U-Force? The Power Glove. Oh, I thought that's... Oh, yeah. That wasn't Nintendo? Uh, no, it was from, like... Pac LJN. PAX or something like it's that? LJN. That was, like, the ultimate... It's not LJN. That was, like, the ultimate accessory for, like, nerd cosplay. I don't think anyone actually ever used it, but I certainly saw it in a lot of photos of people dressed up as, like like wannabe gamers or something we had i remember that was out with the u-force remember u-force no nobody does <laughs> it was a pile of garbage motion sensing controller back then didn't work at all returned it got a game boy for it mm -hmm. and i was much happier with that yeah i mean the only good thing about that power glove was that i mean like marvel like took inspiration for that and now we have the avengers series so thanks <laughs> nintendo exactly <laughs> So full disclosure, uh, without giving up too much, we are working on something here that does involve the Power Glove, and I just bought one last night. Oh, so sick. So it is in the mail, on its way here. We're going to try it out, and uh, if you can guess what the reasoning is that we are purchasing and utilizing a Power Glove, um, hint, it's for a, a video, a commemorative video. If you can guess why we need a Power Glove here at CNET for an upcoming video project... I'll send like tweet at us. I'll I'll will send you something like a, a mug or something. I'll find a prize. But uh, if you can guess what we're working Vague on, vague prize. Promise to you, if you figure out what a the usage of a power glove will be, <laughs> just gonna be walking around the office slapping people with it, aren't you? It's glove slap from The Simpsons. Maybe glove slap. <laughs> All right, that's it. Uh, it's been a hell of a week. We had the Apple event. We're all clearly surly at this point, so we're going to uh, wrap it up here, and uh, we'll see you folks on Monday. Everyone have a terrific weekend, and Ayaz, go ahead and take us on out of here. Thanks to everyone for your questions. Keep sounding off here in the comments, or you can at us on Twitter. I hear people do that. And while you're at it, go ahead and throw us a like and ring the bell and do all those button-clicking things on YouTube. You can catch us live weekday mornings at 11.15 a.m. Eastern. I can talk right now for the Daily Charge. I'm Maya Zaktar. I'm Alfred. Thanks for joining us.